Uh, Mr. Secretary General, uh, have you had any contact with Silvacare to ensure the safe uh, airlift that happened earlier today uh, for the U.S. citizens and 300 uh, uh, foreigners uh, from other uh, nationalities uh, out of uh, South Sudan? And my second part, with regard to the uh, Geneva Conference in January, uh, Nevi Pillay uh, issued a statement that uh, it is confirmed and proven that uh, atrocities have been conducted both by the Syrian regime as well as the opposition. Is there any mechanism to filter out the groups that they were responsible for conducting such atrocities uh, before going to Geneva? Thank you very much. On first question, I have been constantly uh, talking uh, with uh, President Salva Kiir, uh, but I'm going to uh, speak uh, with him again uh, uh, today or tomorrow as soon as possible. And as I said, uh, I'm going to reach out to uh, many uh, African leaders uh, who would be in a position to uh, render their uh, support, the resources support, uh, as well as who would have uh, influence uh, on these uh, issues. Uh, this is what uh, I'm telling you. Uh, I'll be in the close touch with the Security Council members uh, for what I'll be doing and you'll be uh, able to know through our spokesperson. For your second question, uh, I have been repeatedly and consistently stating uh, that those people who would commit gross violation of international uh, human rights laws and international human rights laws, who would uh, commit the crimes against the humanity and war crimes, will be held accountable. Uh, that means whoever it may be, uh, government and opposition forces, uh, whoever does commit should be held accountable. Uh, we will make it again uh, clear uh, so that uh, they will uh, have to think uh, twice before they commit uh, crimes. Uh, this is a very important and fundamental uh, principles which will be applied in all around the world, not only in Syria, but in South Sudan and Central African Republic. And my message and United Nations position has been clear and consistent. 